Tim appears to have the riding cracked, but to be a true gaucho, he needs to be able to lasso not just cattle, but wild boar too. Johnny and Julio are incredibly skilled and traditionally control the boar numbers by chasing, lassoing and delivering the coup de grace with a knife. As this is rucksack and rifle, we'll leave the blades to the boys. The dogs chase the boar yeah. and these guys... Full gallop. Full yeah. gallop and they lasso it. The they don't use a gun. No. Right, I think we've got to learn how to do this. This is absolutely <laughs> fascinating, so... Yeah, you can yeah. have a go. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. So, I hope you can, you right. can learn. And hopefully that will just fly in the right direction. So, all right, stand back, everybody. Okay, get, are we going over there? I, I'm just noticing actually the way okay. when he does, does that, he's actually twisting the the wrist around to get yeah, to, to keep it all constant, I suppose, really. And open. It's yeah. Open by twisting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's obviously cool. And obviously he's throwing it quite hard as well. So uh, if you if you notice, they put a step forward. Oh, uh, okay. And they follow it through with a hand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. No problem. <laughs> we can do that. I'm lassoing myself. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah. Ow. Oh. Got the buckle right on the side of the eye. Ow. I hope I get danger money for this, you know. Right. <laughs> oh, nearly. Nearly. It appears Tim has successfully restrained the frisky fence post. Ooh, On our previous boar hunt, Tim and Carlos were charging through thick cover with little care for what they may be facing. Just to prove we're not cowboys in every sense of the word, here is the personal medical pack we brought with us thanks to our friend Roger Late and his company MDD Europe. Our nearest hospital is in Concordia, which is a good three and a half hours away. And three days ago, we couldn't get there because the roads were so wet that they're impassable. Thanks to Roger Late, who does work with Phil Sports as well, he's also very much involved in Formula E as well. He's uh, produced this kit, and it's the kit which I think Roger wants to promote. He wants to show people that it doesn't take a huge amount of space up, but this is a lifesaver. One of the biggest problems with the ball, if it runs towards you, is, is those lower teeth, and they just do that. And one of the biggest problems is, well, the, the areas which are very vulnerable in the human, is between your legs. And if they're coming towards you, the first thing you do is that. So the femoral artery, apparently, is fairly exposed. So kits like this make a huge difference. And one word of advice Andrew Venables from WMS told me, he says, I've seen a lot of injuries in my time. He said, first aid kit and take a military tourniquet. It's 20 quid. He said that saves more lives than anything else. So full first aid kit, which can cope with open wounds and as at Pat's Extra as well, is a tourniquet. And that's what we've done. In the lovely morning light we head off, everything is calm, cool, collected. Then the dog scents boar and it all goes a bit wild. He hits the boar in the shoulder and it takes off, as do the gauchos. They need to get it on the floor to avoid the dogs or horses being hit by a tough and angry pig.
That's probably the most exciting thing I've done for years. <laughs> I'm glad. It's a big pig and is sure to be one of the pigs taking the young lambs. You've done well. You've yeah, done completely well. utterly <laughs> mad. You hold on really well to it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's just the whole thing is a complete adrenaline rush. And seeing that boar go into those bushes and the dogs are banging it up and then the boar comes out and you were talking about that uh, it's quite important that uh, you chase the boar for, for a while, just to maybe just to slow it down a wee bit, yeah. and then the boar gets more and more angry, yeah. yeah? And that's when he need to, to, to shoot it, because if it, let it, if it gets too angry, it... it he'll, start getting he'll start charging forward. Really? So he can, you know, hurt a dog or even us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all, all the horses. Really? So, so yeah, yeah. a boar will actually charge a horse? Yes, yes. Really? Yes, yes, yes. When he feels you know, that he's got no way out, he will try anything. And, you know, as you can see, he's a big boy. He's got a few, you know, uh, uh, good tasks, you know, that they can do some damage. Yep. So we try to avoid any contact with the Yeah, with yeah, the I can see that. So that as soon as possible that we, you know, we, we can, we just... Okay. Any old. idea what the weight will be, roughly? 100 kilograms, I think. 100 kilograms, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, do they get bigger than this? They do get bigger they than do this. They do, they? Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. They get bigger than this. And all, I didn't actually see it, but they actually lassoed it. Yeah, both of them they managed to <laughs> lasso the pig to make sure we were safe. And uh, yeah, we we finished him off. But it's a skill that they always, always they they do it when 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 they see one. And, and yeah, you have you got to be pretty skillful from the top of the horse in this terrain and be able to yeah to lasso a, whore, a, a, a boar like that. And then obviously we dispatched it as quick as we possibly can. So, Carlos. This is the most amazing experience. <laughs> it's the most mad experience I've had for many, many years. And thank you so, so much. <laughs> With so much going on, Tim's kit needs just to work. He chooses the Steyr SM12SX because the synthetic stock is so grippy and the aim point adds the speed of target acquisition, especially when the target is not the only thing in front of the barrel. There's two basic main principles of the aim point. First of all, both eyes open. It's like a shotgun, so I, it actually enhances my peripheral vision. And secondly, no matter where my head is around the stock, it doesn't actually alter the point of impact. In situations like this where the ball's gone into a thicket, there's dogs everywhere, to shut one eye and concentrate on that ball is probably quite dangerous because I can't see anything else around. When you get a ball within two metres, my God, you need to make sure it works. We filmed an animal you can't control while sitting on another animal some cameramen can't control. But what a hunt. For more information about Harkila clothing, go to harkila.com. And for Steyr Manlicker rifles, steyr-manlicker.com or sportsmangunscentre.co.uk. If you would like to speak to Carlos about doing this specialist style of hunting, you can contact him through Tim on tim at rucksackandrifle.co.uk.